Hey everyone, my name is Magan and welcome to Indie Showcase. So today we're going to be playing a game called Seesaw. It's made by a company called YCJY, which consists of two guys who are ex-game design students. They've done two other games previously, I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head. But this is their next adventure. So it's not a Kickstarter as of recording, it's going to be a Kickstarter basically tomorrow, the 19th. So by the time this goes up, it should be ready. So I'll put the links down in the description below if you want to go check it out for yourself. I'll put the links to the um, demo where you can try this out for yourself as well. But for now, we're just going to jump straight into this. I'm obviously going to do a new game because I haven't started this yet. Ruins of Zanthu. So royal. <laughs> All right, so yeah, start. So you basically play as the bad guys in this. It is said that he was once caught by a poor fisherman. In his net, the man saw glory ooze from the eyes of Agra and released him back into the sea, crying that such a beautiful fish is not meant to be eaten by a fool like me. Ag Agra? Agra? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Agra. I say Agra. Agra rose to the surface and granted the fisherman three wishes, thus creating the lineage of kings that still rule today. So start, 25% swarm abilities, strong swarm, words explode, press A to start. Oh, we get to choose choose our apostle. So our character, really. So we've only got one available at the moment, so we're just going to use left stick. So yeah, you can control like a swarm of enemies. Use left stick to move. Okay, we've got a little tutorial going on here. But yeah, the game looked really interesting on Game Jolt. Hold right to trigger it. Hold right trigger to attack. Nice! <laughs> Gain more minions at summoning circles. Alright. Oh no, I wanna I wanna I wanna buy everything. Ooh, so Jolt it's kind of weird. I kind of don't know where the centre of my swarm is. So I see little bats run off there. Uh, press A to select minions. Select this card. Sorry, my chair keeps falling down. Let's do that. So we get to pick some extra extra characters, I guess. Uh, slow. Sorry, I was I started to read that. Uh, basic melee minions, fast but weak. Slow moving melee minions leaves a slowing trail of slime. Or range minions that worship dragon. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the cultist because I don't know why not. So oh, yeah, it's kind of it's weird. Like the it feels like they kind of have a mind of their own. Each individual thing, right? Kill all enemies before you can advance. Eat them! Eat them! Nom 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 nom. <laughs> this is cool. So, yeah, see, look, one of my minions was down the bottom there. Okay. Overwhelm enemies to scare them. So, I don't know how precise I have to be when, like... So, say I press up. I don't know if, if holding right trigger will just automatically attack the nearest thing. Or if I do have to be a bit more, like, precise with where I'm going. Victory! Alright, well, that's the tutorial level done. Easy enough. Continue. So, we're moving on to... Oh, so we start on that little island and we're moving on to, like, the map proper by the looks of things. East. I guess I'm going east. Innsberg Harbour. Start! Oh, so you get to choose an apostle at the start of every every uh, level. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I thought I thought I was a bunch of uh, bats. So if I am, they're bats that can apparently swim. No, they're not bats. They're like crawly things, aren't they? Well, I suppose it said swarm. So a swarm of crawly bugs. that can 
fly <laughs> as well, it seems. I'm going to ignore that. But I like the idea of this. Like the fact you, you're the enemy for once and you just you have to wreak havoc on everything as much as you possibly can. I, uh, the only the only complaint that I have for the, right this second is it's a bit dark. It's a bit. I know that's obviously going to be like the main like theme. Oh shit! Get him! There's a uh, get him! Get him! Eat him! Eat the little man! Obviously, it's meant to be like dark and dingy and gloomy. I don't know where this is set. I don't know if it's like a fictional town or it's meant to be based off of somewhere. Like it said in the description on their website that it was based on like folklore and stuff but it didn't say I don't think it said exactly where come on get down to him eat him eat him up here alright so now that I've eaten all the enemies I can advance anything like, I wonder if there's any little secrets don't think so I think we're just going to carry on I want to find me a swarming circle. One of these things, so I can select some more minions. Let's try. Let's try the worm this time. I want to try out everything. Because I want to see what's going to kind of be the best strategy. You've been eaten. Come on, get this man. Oh, and I'm going to go to that swarming circle as well. And we're gonna get so uh, we're gonna get also is the, the swarms what I already have isn't it? I think let's get some more. Yep, <laughs> a lot more swarm. But so far this feels very well made. I mean, like, I'm not encountering any like issues with it. Everything feels nice and smooth. Like. It, it looks great as well. And it's a really like interesting concept because normally you'd be like if it was a game like this where you have to fight off loads of things, you'd normally be like the hero trying to save the world, but this you are just causing havoc. <laughs> so I wonder if there's gonna be any like big boss fights or anything like that. Chillin'. The swarm of Dagon is coming. Already? Look at the wharf master. I'll go barricade the market. Hmm. Alright. Come here. Come here. I want to eat you. Come here. Oh, okay. So we're going we're gonna to try and avoid the uh, big bits of fire. God, there's like loads. Oh, look how look look! My swarm is tiny now. All right, come on, swarm. So there is kind of a centre to my swarm, but but they kind of go off on their own a little bit. Oh, let's eat you. Oh, I need to find yes. I was about to say, I need to find a summoning circle. Cultists. I think the cultists are going to be um, probably the best option. So, swarm and cultists. I don't... Actually, I don't know. The swarm dies pretty quickly. Like, I've already gone through almost two of them already, by the looks of things. So, maybe cultists and worms? And the cultists are good for when they try and run away because it looks like they I can they obviously they're range, so I can get them from a distance. So look from From yeah, from there I was able to get him. Nice! Alright, so this area is clear. Well I'm very low on um on team members. 
But that's fine. Whoa, okay. Uh, yes, I want more cultists, please. Because these feel so much stronger compared to everything else. Oh, no, 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 get out of the fire. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, the controls are a little bit finicky. So if I'm attacking something, I'm holding up to kind of move forward. The camera panned up, like, a bit too far. But I've done it. See, look, I know, like, loads of my things are still over to the left. Look, I have no idea where the centre of my swarm is now. So, what, have I lost all my cultists now? Oh no, some of the cultists are there. See, that's that's a little bit weird. So I don't know if they're kind of going off just on their own. It'd be nice if there was just maybe like an indicator of where the actual centre is. Because like I said, these things go off like randomly. Like it's kind, it is kind of cool at the same time that they have their own direction that they choose to go. So like each individual like creature has its own has its own like maybe path that it follows. But at the same time, if I just hold down the right trigger, they kind of just chase the enemy. Oh, that's another cultist down. What's that down there? Oh, so they're just like kind of bridges. Oh, so I can use I can use the right stick to kind of pan the camera around as well. Now, what do I go for here? Maybe I'll go. I think I think I'll probably go for a swarm. Just so I do have that extra bit of I don't know protection. go that way so come on guys let's go down it is a little bit infuriating <laughs> I suppose it's just a mechanic that I'll get you'll get used to over time whoa okay so this guy's pretty tough I managed to get him but he took down my cultists and a lot of my swarm as well, by the looks of things. I wonder if he's just like, just a regular tougher enemy, or if he's going to be the hard... No, he's clearly not the hardcore boss person. I don't think he's like the Wharf Master. Prophet. Oh, Lord Dagon. You are mighty. Although, I've heard that you're capable of so much more. Oh, end of demo. Thank you for playing the Sea Salt demo. Please support us on Kickstarter. Um, all right then. I wasn't expecting that to end so quickly. I thought there would have been. I thought I would have been able to do that area at least. But yeah, it's it's interesting. So, yeah, like I said, there are some little quirks with the uh, controls and the movement. So I guess I'll kind of like figure that out. <laughs> But yeah, it feels like you can, if you're in the vicinity of an enemy, you can just hold the right trigger. You don't have to actually like move the the analog stick in that direction and hold the trigger. So, I don't know, some sort of indication of that would have been helpful. <laughs> but but yeah, from what I've played just then, um, I, I like it. Like I said, it's an interesting concept. It's different from what you normally get. And everything looks like, it feels very smooth. Everything looks um, quite well made. I don't know how entertaining it could be in the long run. I suppose if you've got loads of things that you can, like maybe if you can level up uh, the different like type of swarm enemies that you have. Or I don't know if it's going to be kind of like that RPG kind of style, or if it's just going to be uh, more of a like roguelike, like I say hack and slash, but it's not really hack and slash because you're just eating enemies. But I think you kind of know what I mean, yeah. So, yeah, really, yeah, quite interesting. Uh, like I said, there, it's going to be a Kickstarter by the time this video goes up. So um, I'll leave a link down in the description below so you can go check it out. And for now, 
that's the end. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, give this video a like. You can leave a comment down below. Go follow me on social media. I am at Magamord on most things like Instagram, Twitter, YouTube while you're watching this. Uh, I do some Twitch streams occasionally. I'm trying to get better at doing those. So yeah, everything down below. Alright, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,